Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error that is unable to initialize connection to Steam with Elder Scrolls Online game on your computer. So while playing the game, while launching the game, if you are receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart. And after the restart, try to launch the game. That should go ahead and fix the problem. But still you're facing the problem, then go ahead and restart Steam client. So if the Steam is open, go ahead and close Steam. Make sure that Steam is not hidden over here. Make a right click, then click on exit. And then after that, go ahead and restart Steam. So again, type in Steam and then open Steam. Click on yes to allow. And it will go ahead and update the Steam. And if there are any pending update for the game or Steam, it, it will go ahead and update it. And after that, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem, then go, go ahead and put the Steam into offline mode. So once the Steam is open, once the Steam is open, go to Steam and then click on go offline. And then click on restart in offline mode. Then go ahead and restart your computer. After you, you know, switch it to offline mode, go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch Steam once again. And once Steam is open, after the system restart, go to Steam and then click on Go Online. And then click on Restart to go online. The Steam will restart. And once the Steam is up and running, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. So here you can see the Steam is online now. It's online. So go to the Steam library and try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and run Steam as an administrator. Try running Steam with and without administrator. So first of all, go ahead and type in Steam in Windows search, then make a right click on Steam app, then click on open file location, go to the location and then make a right click, right click on Steam exe file, then click on properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrat administrator, put a check over here, then click on apply, ok, and then try to launch the Steam. So once you do this, close Steam, if the Steam is open, close it. And after that, you, can, you go ahead and open the Steam once again. If that does not resolve the problem, then try running the Steam without administrator. So again, type in Steam. Still, you're facing the problem. Then click on open file location. This time, make a right click, select properties, go to compatibility tab, and then uncheck the option which says run this program as an administrator. So try, first of all, try running the Steam as an admin. If that does not resolve the problem, then try to run is without the administrator. Now also try to run JOS Steam Starter exe file as in with and without administrator. So go to this location wherever the game is installed. So if wherever you have installed the game, default is this. So go to this path and then find this ZOS Steam Starter. Then make a right click on this exe file, then select properties, go to compatibility, and first of all, try to check the box which says run this program as an administrator, the same way we did for Steam. And then one, uh, click on apply and then go ahead and try to launch the game. Still not, uh, still you are facing the problem. Then again, go to the same location and then find this, make a right click, select properties, go to compatibility. And this time, uncheck the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then try running the game both with and without administration. Same thing you have to do as we have done with Steam. So go to this location wherever the game is installed, then open the Elder Scrolls Online folder and after that make a right click on this uh, game exe file, then select properties, go to compatibility and then check the option which says run this program as an administrator. And if that does not resolve the problem, then go ahead and uncheck the run this program as an administrator and then try to run the game. So run the game, uh, game exe file as an administrator if that does not resolve the problem. 
run the game without the administrator now now few players were also able to resolve the game resolve the problem you know when they when they inst- uh, played the game launch the game from bethesda net launcher so go to this path and then find bethesda.net launcher and then try to launch the game from there and if that does not re- uh, fix the problem then go ahead and try to repair the game from the launcher so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel